Hey everyone, in this tutorial, this is part two of our uh, Avatar Builder tutorial series. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be defining the uh, roots of our controllers, uh, sorry, rather the roots of our accessories, as well as the controller handles, and we'll be dealing uh, dealing with how to uh, puppet the uh, accessories a little bit as well. So let's go ahead and first and add in our first accessory. So let's go down again to our, uh, our spring section here, and we'll go ahead and double click on that antenna, which will add the antenna in. And what I want to do first is I want to make sure this antenna is attached to a dummy. Um, in order to be able to move and rotate it on two separate, uh, with two separate controllers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, dummy tools here. I'm just going to uh, double click the single dummy here. And we can see that uh, if I make my avatar invisible here, let's zoom in and take a look. Uh, so there's my dummy, which is the blue box and my antenna. So what I want to do is I want to make this uh, antenna a child of the dummy. So I'm going to select the antenna and I can just right click that actually and go ahead and attach it. And I can select the dummy from the scene manager right here. So now we have the dummy as part of the, uh, or sorry, the antenna as part of this dummy. The dummy will control movement and the antenna will control rotation, as you'll see later on. Uh, then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is because it's currently a prop, uh, what I want to do is I want to select the dummy and I want to right click it and attach it. And we'll attach it to our AT base, which is invisible right now. So we can uh, bring that guy back up. And there he is right there. Or you can just kind of uh, move this dummy a little bit higher up right there so we're going to be kind of in his head right there and then we got a nice little antenna sticking out of his head okay so now we're good to go and to define the uh, controller handles and the roots of our accessory so what I'm going to need to do for this is go to the set tab and we'll go to our uh, avatar toolkit let's add in an avatar builder as well as an avatar controller and I'll bring the avatar controller over here on the side okay so what I can do is I can select the uh, accessories uh, button from the avatar builder and then I can go ahead and select my uh, dummy. I can select it from in the scene manager. If I just uh, twirl down here, let's go ahead and select that dummy right there. All right, so the avatar builder, uh, now we have to define our controllers. So let's go ahead and bring this into window mode so we can move it out of the way there. Uh, what I need to do, let's zoom in on the head here. And you can see that uh, we have the object type selected as other. Um, considering it doesn't look like a brow or ear or an eye, you can Use your imagination if you want, I guess. But uh, the object structure will be remain at single. Uh, the pair is used for eyes and ears and stuff like that. The UI type will just leave it as a typical uh, four-directional UI. And we don't want to enable the expression section right now. We'll just leave that deselected. We do want to uh, activate the other uh, tab in our other con avatar controller, which you can see is currently disabled. So what I need to do is first, um, the first step is to assign the accessory roots. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see we have two options. We have dummy S and antenna 02. If I select antenna 02 and press apply and I go to uh, assign my control handles, you can see that I don't have any options for a movement, um, a movement dummy since um, I've defined the antenna as the root. Um, so basically the dot controller here is going to be defining the rotation and the slider control here is going to be defining the, uh, the movement. Okay, so we'll go ahead and apply it. So we'll just go back and I want to make sure I select the dummy S as my root there and go ahead and press apply. And now in single, you see we have the option to select dummy S as my uh, slider uh, for my slider control. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And you can see the entire thing is selected. And if I uh, go a little bit further down, uh, basically that shows that that um, accessory has been selected right there. Um, you can see it turns a little bit yellow. You can see kind of through the... Uh, the mesh of the avatar. Let's uh, make him invisible right now. There you go. So there's our uh, um, dummy controller right there. Turns a little bit yellow. Okay, and now what I want to do is define the antenna as the uh, rotation. So we can bring this guy back up again here. And with the antenna, let's go ahead and select, um, we can select the antenna, the root right there, and that'll make that um, section there turn blue. Or we can select uh, spring 00 as well. Uh, we can select both or either or or of them. Um, I'm just going to select the antenna for now and we'll just leave that as is. And what I'm going to do now is go apply. And basically all of our roots have already been assigned. Um, so we're good to go. What I need to do now is press uh, next. Okay, now in the next, uh, in this section here, I need to define the puppet behavior. Um, so you can see we have our variation slider here, our, uh, our dot controller right here. And basically what I'm going to be doing is if we go to the other tab, uh, you can see there's no movement with the uh, dot controller, no movement with the variation slider currently. So what I need to do is select the uh, main area of our variation slider. You always want to make sure that this is currently 
at its current position. So just make sure you uh, quick select the uh, handle target right there, which will select that dummy down there, and we'll just go ahead and apply that. So that'll ensure that the middle of our slider um, keeps this current uh, position. Now if I want to um, go to the top or maybe, maybe make the slider or the antenna move up, I'll select the uh, B slider or the B section of my slider here and then I'll make sure I'm selecting the target handle again and we can just go ahead and um, like move, move that up, something like that. And then I can go ahead and apply. Now if I go back to here, you can see it moves back to position, my original uh, layer right there. So I'll just cancel that and then if we go to variation right here what I want to do is I want to make sure that moves down when I do that. So I'll select the target handle one more time and go ahead and move that down and then go ahead and apply it. Okay, so now if I go into preview mode, um, you can see that uh, it pops back into its original position and when I move the variation slider, I can move it up and down. So the antenna can you know, retract out of his head or whatever um, like that with the variation slider. And uh, if I go out of preview mode here and I go to the avatar controller, you can see the same thing um, in the puppet controller or in the avatar controller. Um, so it's a live update right there. Now what I want to do is I want to define all the rotations for my um, uh, antenna right here using the dot controller. So with the dot controller matrix, what I want to do is um, again select the middle one and we'll just go ahead, um, target handle, select the target handle, make sure I apply that. And I'll press OK. And with the uh, right side or the top right here, I want to make sure I select the target handle again. And let's use the E hotkey to rotate that a little bit back right there. Go ahead and press apply. And then if I select mode two, and I press reset, that'll reset it back, it's back to its original position right there. Um, then I want for this one to kind of make, move it a little bit that way, a little bit that way. If you're picky, you can kind of uh, set your transform uh, the angles in the, in the modified panel to the right here, but I'm not too picky this time around. So let's press apply. And then we'll do the same thing, mode three. Uh, reset that back to normal and this one will kind of move it a little bit up a little bit forward there and go ahead and apply and then mode 4 reset again uh, make sure you have our target handle selected a little bit back a little bit uh, to the side there and go ahead and apply and then we can go to preview mode here again so let's test how that, that how, how that worked there so now you can see we kind of move, make the antenna move in a little circle right here boom 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 back and forth and uh, we can make it go up and down. So there's our uh, accessory uh, data all defined right there. Uh, if I want, um, for example, let's uh, let's get a preview mode here. We'll just press OK. We'll uh, close down this uh, avatar builder for now. Let's go ahead and do some uh, some puppet uh, motion. Um, so I'm going to press F3 and go into my timeline here. With the antenna selected, I can open up the animation tab here. And if I go ahead and record this, move it around like that. You can see I have an animation clip that appears uh, in the animation tab right there. So basically, I still have that spring effect attached. So you can see it kind of wiggled around like that. Kind of, kind of goes around like that because it's a, a spring-enabled prop. So basically, that's my animation clip right there. And if I go to my dummy um, and I open that up as well, you can see there's no animation in that right now. But if I uh, um, record and then I kind of move that up and down like that, you can see that, uh, whoops, that recorded a uh, clip in the uh, dummy track there as well. So you can see both um, different um, sections of my prop or my accessory have their own animation tracks right there. So basically you can define them all together like that. And if I wanted to, for example, maybe redefine, um, you know, say for example, I thought my uh, slider to the right or my dot controller to the right was a little bit off. I can go ahead and I can modify that again if I want to. So if I uh, go back into my avatar builder, if you want to bring it back up, you can just right click on it, select script and go avatar builder and that'll pop, pop it right back up. And I can go back into accessories and again, go back to define my, uh, my dummy as well. And you can see uh, everything's set up here. Now uh, if I preview again, basically everything's the same. But if I wanted to change this you know, to the top right, maybe make it go a little bit further back, I can go ahead and do that as well. So if I uh, again select mode one and maybe just uh, make sure you have my target handle selected, move that way back to there and then go ahead and apply that. Now if I go into preview mode, you'll see that bam, that'll go way back there and uh, everything else will be a little bit normal. So you can see it's not really in a um, nice circle anymore. Um, but that's just to show you that you can um, 
redefine your puppet behavior after the fact. Okay, and then the same thing will happen in the uh, um, avatar controller as live updated. All right, so that's basically it for uh, defining your roots, um, defining your controller handles, as well as some basic puppeteering uh, with the avatar controller. Uh, make sure you check out our other tutorials on the avatar builder as we'll be uh, kind of going through a lot of other stuff as well um, to help you customize your own personal accessories for your characters.